Welcome back to Beirut. Iran's supreme leader has used a rare public appearance to praise his country's uh, missile strikes against Israel, warning that Iran is ready to do it again. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei was uh, speaking during his first appearance as uh, leader at Friday prayers in about five years. Iran struck Israel on Tuesday in response to Israel's military action against the militant group uh, Hezbollah here in uh, Lebanon. That action is continuing with uh, multiple targets here hit throughout uh, the day. We can talk now to Sir Simon Gass. He's a former British ambassador to Iran and also a former chair of the Joint Intelligence Committee. Uh, good evening to you. Thank you very much for uh, being with us. I just wonder, first of all, what you believe the thinking really is within the Iranian regime at this point. Yeah, Mark, I think the uh, Iranian regime uh, is pointing in two directions. On the one hand, uh, there is a sense of defiance, uh, and that is clearly part of what the Supreme Leader was expressing when he appeared in front of, uh, in leading Friday affairs uh, this morning. But I think there is also a, a deep concern in Tehran. Uh, you know, uh, Iran's method of seeking to deter its enemies in the Middle East has rested quite heavily on the proxies uh, that its sponsors, uh, of which Hezbollah was the leading and the most powerful, uh, and yet that had been decapitated and degraded uh, in a very short space of time. Secondly, it depended on a ballistic missile program, and uh, whilst the ballistic missiles which uh, it launched uh, may have hit some targets, uh, I doubt whether it achieved the full effect that Iran had hoped uh, that it would do, and therefore that ballistic missile deterrent is looking a little bit weaker than it was uh, before. Uh, so I think Iran will be wondering you know, how it manages to show the strength which is so important to its uh, self-image in the Middle East at the time when it's anticipating a, a response from Israel, which is likely to be quite severe. Yeah, given everything you've just said, do you think they well, A, could, and B, would uh, launch or try to launch a much more significant attack on, on Israel? Well, I think what we've been hearing from Iran over the last few days has been uh, an effort, really, to try to draw a line under this. I don't think that Iran wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Israel. There is always a deep concern in Iran, which is, on the one hand, how do you show that strength and that leadership of the so-called axis of resistance on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, not take action, which is so dramatic uh, and uh, achieves uh, such a, a sort of catastrophic success that you bring the roof in down on your heads uh, in the form of either a hugely destructive Israeli response or, worse still, uh, an Israeli-American response, which would then show that Iran really didn't have uh, very much uh, in the way of uh, defence against such powerful enemies. Yeah, I mean, how do you think they'd respond if, and of course it's a big if, Israel decided to hit their nuclear facilities? Because in some ways, I guess, it could, such an attack could encourage Iran to push ahead with a nuclear weapons programme. Well, firstly, I, I'm uh, optimistic that uh, Israel will not attack the nuclear installations, or at least optimistic in the sense that I think that would be the most escalatory action, rather than that uh, I'm uh, a big fan of the nuclear program. Uh, and I think what uh, the Americans were saying yesterday about not supporting attacks on the nuclear program is quite significant. But the truth is, as you know, Mark, we're in uncharted waters here, and we can't be sure that Israel wouldn't take uh, that opportunity. I think were they to do so, that would be a highly escalatory reaction uh, in the eyes of the Iranians, and then a, a much stronger response uh, might be possible. Uh, but I think that it is probably more likely that uh, Israel will target military facilities. Um, we saw President Biden saying yesterday that they talked about uh, oil installations. That could be part of it, but I'm uh, not sure. I don't think the Americans would welcome a further oil price spike at the moment. Uh, so I think it more likely that we will see uh, targets chosen which are severe but are more connected with Iran's 
military, including perhaps its ballistic missile program. I also think that when that is done, uh, Iran will be hoping uh, that it can get away without a further response. But that does not mean that we can be confident that a further response will not be forthcoming. Right. Uh, let's talk about what we, we do know, and that is that Israel has delivered a considerable, significant blow to Hezbollah, as you say, um, seriously weakened Hezbollah. How damaging do you think that is for Iran? It is very damaging for Iran because uh, Hezbollah was the most powerful of its so-called proxies. There was a very close relationship between Iran and Hezbollah and indeed between the supreme leader and the former head of Hezbollah, Sheikh Nasrallah, who was, of course, uh, killed in an uh, Israeli uh, strike. So this is a major blow not only to Iran's ability to uh, threaten uh, what it regards as its main enemy in the Middle East, uh, Israel, of course, uh, but is also uh, a, an astonishing blow to Iran's prestige, coming as it does on top of the uh, killing of the Hamas leader, uh, Ismail Haniya, actually in Tehran. So Iran has suffered a number of blows, and this is part of what worries Iran. It doesn't dare look weak. Uh, and when uh, it sees some of its best assets being knocked over so simply, uh, or sorry, not simply, but quickly rather by uh, Israel, uh, it means that it's looking to see how it can restore that deterrence, which will uh, hopefully, uh, from their perspective, protect it from further attack. Okay, uh, Sir Simon, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for uh, coming on the programme this evening. Thank you.